Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about temperature susceptibility of asphalt and superpave performance grading system. The characteristics of asphalt is greatly affected by temperature, and that's the most significant feature of asphalt. Basically, it's a viscoelastic material, and the viscosity decreases when the temperature increases. Um, which means at higher temperatures, um, it's more vis viscous, more like a fluid, and at lower temperatures, it's more uh, elastic, more like a solid. And this figure plots the logarithm of logarithm of viscosity versus the logarithm of temperature. And you can see here the viscosity decreases when the temperature increases. And the asphalt's temperature susceptibility can be represented by the slope of this line. The steeper um, of the slope, the higher the temperature susceptibility of the asphalt. So when it becomes very stiff, it means when there is a tiny change in temperature, there will be a huge uh, difference in viscosity. When the asphalt is mixed with aggregates, this mixture will perform properly only if the asphalt viscosity is within the optimum range. And this is the optimum viscosity range. If the viscosity of the asphalt is too high, higher than the optimum range, the mixture will be too brittle and susceptible to low temperature cracking which is called thermal cracking. And on the other hand, if the viscosity is below the optimum range, um, the mixture will be more likely to flow and leading to permanent deformation, which is called rotting. So asphalt comes in different grades, and the soft asphalt should be used in cold climates to avoid thermal cracking. And this figure shows the thermal cracking um, resulting from the use of too stiff asphalt in a cold uh, climbing area. On the other hand, uh, hard asphalt with high viscosity should be used in hot climates um, to avoid uh, rotting. So this figure shows um, rotting uh, resulting from the use of too soft asphalt in a hot uh, climbing area. So we can see that due to its temperature sensitivity, um, asphalt should be selected according to the climate of the area. Um, the viscosity of the asphalt should be mostly within the optimum range for the area's annual temperature range. So soft asphalt are used for cold climates and the hard grade asphalts for hot climates. And when we test the asphalt, those tests should be conducted at a specified temperature within very tight tolerances. In 1987, the Strategic Highway Research Program, SHRP, began developing a new system for specifying asphalt materials. This SHRP research produced the superpave performance grading system for asphalt binder specification to control three different distress modes, including rotting, fatigue cracking, and thermal cracking. I mentioned uh, rotting and thermal cracking before, but I didn't mention fatigue cracking. Fatigue cracking is also called alligator cracking due to the similarities it has with the alligator skin. Typically, uh, it's caused by a number of factors, including excessive loads, traffic increases, old rigid pavement, and base failures. Performance grade testing used to characterize the asphalt binder um, is usually performed at different temperatures to represent upper, middle, and lower ranges of the surface temperatures. Actually, three different pavement design temperatures are required for the binder specifications. 
the minimum pavement design temperature is the minimum temperature expected over the entire life of the pavement. The maximum temperature is selected as the highest successive seven day average maximum temperature. The intermediate temperature is the average of the upper and lower temperatures um, plus four degrees Celsius. The name of the grades start with PG, which means performance graded, and followed by two numbers representing the maximum and minimum pavement design temperatures in degrees Celsius. For example, an asphalt binder PG64-22 means that the maximum pavement design temperature for this asphalt binder is 64 and the minimum pavement design temperature for this asphalt binder is negative 22. So 60, 64 represents the highest successive seven day average maximum temperature in um, degrees Celsius and negative 22 represents the minimum pavement design temperature in degrees Celsius expected over the entire life of this pavement. So this binder would meet the specifications for a design high temperature up to 64 degrees Celsius and a design low temperature warmer than negative 22 degrees Celsius. The temperatures are calculated about 20 millimeter below the pavement surface and this temperature is related to the air temperature but is also related to some other factors and this table shows the binder grades in the performance uh, grade specifications so these are the high temperatures from uh, 46 degrees celsius to 82 degrees celsius um, there is a six degree increment between um, each two numbers. And these are the low temperatures um, correspond to each high temperature. So there is also a six degree increment between uh, each two numbers.